Space Station Zero. Hello everybody and welcome to Space Station Zero. Today I'm reacting to The Courier, starring Benedict Cumberbatch. Uh, first time I seen Mr. Cumberbatch was he was playing Sherlock. Uh, I think it's the BB BBC series Sherlock. Once I found him there, I was just seen him and everything, of course. Uh, most of all, the uh, Doctor Strange character. But here, he looks like, I don't know, he looks like, and I can't think of the guy who used to host the scary shows. <laughs> it looks like he's sitting here, he's on a, either a bus or a plane or some type of transportation. I would say with the seats like that, it's got to be a bus or a plane. Could just be a large van. Anyways, side the point, let me get over that. I'm going to check this out and see if this is something that I would want to see. Um, he's a courier. I don't know what he's carrying. <laughs> so we're just going to have to find out, you know. Uh, hopefully it, it looks pretty good. So let's just get into it. Oh, wait. I do pausing. <laughs> if you don't like that type of thing, I'll leave a link in the description down below. And uh, I'm really going to start it. Sounds like work. No, tell them I'm in my chair. Yes, he's just walked in. This is unexpected. I can't believe I'm actually having lunch with spies. <laughs> I'm just a salesman. Exactly. You're a civilian, so the KGB won't be watching. It would be a real service to Great Britain. Hmm. What would you want me to do? I'm here to open a door to the top manufacturers in the West. Well, I'd be putting myself in danger. If this mission was the least bit dangerous, you really are the last man we'd send. Make sure you wear it while you're in Moscow. What does this do? Shoot poison dart? Everyone you meet, assume they're KGB. Every Russian is an eye of the state. It'll just be a career. Just a career for Russian sea. From now on, you will be selling one thing. The idea that you are an ordinary businessman and nothing more than an ordinary businessman. Hmm. True story. The weapons Based on of war must life. be abolished before they abolish us. I'm asking you to stop going to. Sorry. Vincent Price. That's the guy I was thinking about earlier. You know, things pop in there. It's just like, hey, talk about me, you know, or I'm going to go away. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, based on true story. The weapons of war must be abolished before they abolish us. I'm asking you to stop going to Moscow. I am asking you as your wife. I didn't want you to be involved. get caught. They'd execute me, correct? We can't get him out. If things were the other way around, Minkowski would abandon you. He would never leave me to die, and I'm not leaving him. I'm volunteering to bring back the best source of Soviet intelligence you've got at a time where Russia and America are on the brink of nuclear war. We are only two people, but this is how things change. Soon. I hate it when they say soon. Just give me a date already. <laughs> okay, so this looks pretty good. Uh, this guy, he's just a, uh, I guess, a salesman. He's hired to uh, do kind of spy work for uh, British intelligence, I think they said. Um, in this bit here where he's, I thought this was pretty funny. Um, I don't know if this is his wife or his daughter or just a friend wife. Maybe she's got a ring on. He's like, I tell him I'm in my chair, you know, or he's, he's not, he can't be bothered when he's in his chair. And she's like, oh, he just came in. Like, you know, I ain't telling him that. Sounds like work. No, tell him I'm in my chair. Yes, he's just walked in. See? 
This looks pretty good to me. Um, I like to watch these type of movies that are based on true stories. Um, not every one of them. There's some that are based on true stories that are just not for me. This one here looks like it, it might be pretty good. It's kind of reminiscent of that. Uh, wasn't there a movie recently where Tom Hanks was the spy? Or have I got that wrong? I feel like I've seen one of these types of movies taking place in the same era. Anyways, that's beside the point. Uh, this one here, though, it looks pretty good to me. It says it's coming soon. It didn't give me a date. And it was going to go on my list. So now I'm going to have to research it um, to find out when it's coming out. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, leave comments if you know something that I don't, which is probably often. I get a lot of comments of people correcting me. <laughs> and uh, make suggestions and uh, see me later.